There's one's no... called Tyson, but they call him Tootie. Yeah. It'd be fine to throw a combo breaker in there and just have like mark. a mark. <laughs> <laughs> Synergy? What are you talking about? No, she... it's tuck bad. Under the weather. Oh, I, how do, what do you mean? Brain shimmer? Yeah. <laughs> I would love to do mushrooms in my law, but she's never gonna do it. You do what everyone else does, Spiker. Ah. <laughs> but then she's such a picky eater too. You'd be like, maybe oh, an yeah. omelet. She'd be like, get that fucking Chinese shit out of my face. Get that foreign muck out of my face. I eat raw flour. <laughs> oh, <this is laughs> do you know anybody with cockroach? <laughs> Like a living human being with a cock ring <laughs> that you've had an interaction with. 20, 20 pound 59. Dale. You can get in red too there. <laughs> White. And don't be getting me that now because we covered in yate marks. You're not committed to the relationship. I can approve it to you. There's only one way. Finger my ass. <laughs> I'll do anything for you. All right. Turn around. Oh, as it in. I told you I loved you. <laughs> I believe you now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are rolling episode twenty two. Yes. He got it right. Damn. He got it right. It took me twenty two weeks to fucking learn how to guide. <laughs> right on checking your emails there. No, I'm getting that video with that shuttle press conference. I haven't even seen this. Okay. Are we starting a podcast or do you want to launch right into this motherfucker? Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. It's got me fired up, man. Shout out to India. Soft landing on the moon. Doing it again. Doing it again, guys. You know, imagine just, you know, you're in, you in India and you're just one of those wee street merchants, you know. Did you ever see that video with the guy with the blade in between his toes cutting up chicken? No. Imagine with that guy going, I can't, but what are you doing going to the moon? Like, Wait, hang on, go back to that. He was doing what? He had the blade in between his toes cutting up chicken? He was like hunched out. He was like sitting on a wee log and he had like a like a little blade in between his toes and he was just like lifting the chicken and cutting it in half and throwing it in the thing. Ton of followers too, probably. Uh, probably, yeah. yeah. You know, and he's, he's probably sitting there going like, you've the money to go to the moon? I'm out here having to- <laughs> toe chicken. <laughs> Country's falling apart. I ain't really going to check out my fucking hands. Never mind with the toes. Say it again. I can barely cut chicken on my fucking hands. Oh, yeah, yeah. Doing it safely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen out there, before we get stuck into the podcast, I just want to give you a quick reminder that you should fucking just stop what you're doing right now. You know what I mean? Just fucking stop. Stop, it. stop riding. Take that sandwich out of your mouth and go on and get one of the remaining tickets for Bomb Squad Live at the waterfront, which is happening when, Aaron? September the 1st. Fucking is, right? Uh, five days. Eh? Five days. In five, five days, days from when you're listening me. to this. Uh, it's going to be, uh, as the children would say, lit. And it is going to be very lit. It's, it's going to be, be a huge party. It's going to be a huge party, you know? You'd be fuming if you weren't there. You'd be, you'd be kicking yourself. Uh, and while you're at it, get yourself on patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod and you can access all of the Patreon podcasts and our live podcast that was recorded at Lavery's Comedy Club not so long ago. And that's all I have for you, folks. Uh, we don't have sponsors yet. Prime. Shout out, Prime. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Is this what gives uh, Logan Paul's fiance energy to just suck up thousand dicks? <laughs> uh, she's got a couple of stamps in the bus board, that one. <laughs> the bus board is fucking, she needs a renewed. Should we get an Irish one next? <laughs> I know, I've been, it's been enjoyable to see, like, you know, I'm sure she hasn't, like, been with all these lads. Like, these just happen to be pictures that she's been in. Like, there's one of her and Adam Sandler. Like, you think she's bucked Adam Sandler? I'd like to think so. The Sandman? The Sandman? <laughs> but you just sleep. I wonder, does he take the basketball shorts off or does he just slip right to the bottom? I actually Ooh. really like, um, Sandler has a very specific subgenre of drip and it's the I've given up look. There's him, there's Shia LaBeouf cakes mm-hmm. and now the dude that's from uh, The Bear. Are these kind of like, you look cool because you look like you don't give a fuck? Larry David, I'd say, falls in that category too. 
Oh, well, he's he's just got the tism. You know, he's he's kind of like, I'm just wearing one outfit. Yeah. I was watching old episodes of Curb there, and I was like, he, he looks he looks good. Like, and he's got them wee sort of... What's, what's ice pop like as a flavor? Like an ice pop? Yeah. Like a blue ice pop? This year, this is, there a load of, is there a load of caffeine in this? Am I oh, gonna... you'll feel this. Oh, you'll feel it, sir. You'll I, feel it. Well, I need it today. Yeah. I, I need it today. I'm a wee, I'm wee bit under the weather. Yeah. My yeah. voice healed up. That's took good. a day, took a That's day good. of water and and uh, lemon. I re- I re-listened to that podcast. There was just one moment where you it just went. Yeah, it just the arse fell out of it. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> I know, I know. It should be my rang me too in between the regular upload and Patreon last week, and she was just like, "How the fuck are you recording a podcast this tiny?" And her voice is, sounds exactly yeah. like yeah. what your voice sounded oh, like. Oh, bang on! You knew my man, it's accurate. That fucking stupid voice, yours broke. <laughs> Sound like a wanker. <laughs> was your ma glad to see you when you got home? Oh, she was. I eh? she get in here, you big Hawaiian we've bastard. Been, you? We've been watching the we have a new show now. Uh, we're watching the Tyson Fury. Oh, I'm watching it too. Yeah. Oh, it's great, great crack. We got something it's to talk crack. about. Yeah. <laughs> I relate uh, a lot to Tyson Fury. Oh yeah, you know, because he he comes home and he's like, I've earned millions of pounds for you bastards, and he just wants five minutes peace and he won't get it. Yeah, you know, and she wife. and she's like. Tash, and you're always, you know, you're always going for runs with a dog and all this here. <laughs> and uh, he's like, yeah, fuck, of course not. Enjoy that rainbow Daytona you're wearing. Yeah. Enjoy that Ferrari, that Lamborghini Jeep. They're all end up in the Versace robes, you I know? know. But it just goes to show, you know, like once you have kids, that you think you could live that absolute lavish, do what you want, like you can't. Well, it probably is nice as a dad to see that and realize that everyone's going through the same shade no matter how much money you have. Yeah, pr- pretty much. Yeah. You know, he he he, f- he pulls in in the, in the Ferrari Versace fucking shirt, ludicrous watch collection. Mm-hmm. So does the wife, and then he's like still doing the bins. He's like, I'm covered in bin juice. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Still wiping shade. Wiping shade. Can't remember the name of his kids. He's too many. Of them. <laughs> the the kid. How many kids does he have? I don't know the kid names, bro. The kid names are mental. What Venice, one's called, one was called Venezuela, yeah. right? Which I don't know if they probably did much research into that. They're like, we named her after some war-torn shithole yeah. in South America. Anytime though you give like kind of lavish luxury names like that, that's almost like the Lord at play. Like they always end up being an absolute skip rat. <laughs> Venezuela, Adonis. And, yeah. and he'll be the fat one. Like yeah. he'll grow up, he'll be a fucking heap of shit. That's Drake's Wayne's name. Uh, yeah. You got, imagine, what a terrible, like, the, the sort of hopes put on you when you're called Adonis, you know, and then all of a sudden you grow up with a millionaire dad just eating fucking cake all day. Yeah. Not an Adonis. I met a girl one time called Mercedes. Aye. That's an interesting one thing. Yeah. Did she have worn out brake pads too? No. <laughs> I, met her at a, I met her at a country uh, festival, actually, weirdly. Was she from America? America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'd like to think so. I was a child at the time, like. Was yeah. there with me, with me dad and my ma. We were going to CMA fest. Yeah, Rock and roll. Real saw Kid Rock. Bad man. Yeah. Real <laughs> bad man. I saw a clip of Kid Rock the other day, and uh, not well. He just came out. This is uh, from a long time ago. He was. I don't get it into politics, but he's like, but all I want to say is Monica Lewinsky's a slut, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, Bill Clinton's a pimp, <laughs> and then they just launched into whatever shit he plays. American badass, so is a tune like uh, you know, you have a few, you have a few pronies in you, and that comes on. It's I a nice mean, one, you like, know. Like I could write one good song. I saw your band jump around on stage like a bunch of wounded ducks. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> <laughs> Adonis. Good. Yeah. What else? Has this motherfucker got. He's got another one. I can't mind. A f- fucking Valencia. Valencia. Yeah. yeah. There's no like. There's one's no... called Tyson, but they call him Tootie. Yeah. It'd be funny to throw a combo breaker in there and just have like mark. a mark. <laughs> Synergy? What are you talking about? <laughs> mark Fury. Mark Fury is a pretty badass yeah, name, actually. Yeah, it sounds like a like an Amazon Prime series. <laughs> you watch Mark Fury. <laughs> and the Rocks on it somehow. Yeah. Um, He's got a couple. What else has he got? I thought, yeah, they're fucking ludicrous names. It is a mad show though. It's he's also probably the perfect man to do like a Kardashian style show on. Mm. He is very entertaining to watch. Like yeah. And then his cousin got stabbed there. Is what? It, it, oh, you maybe haven't watched that far. No, I haven't seen. Oh, sorry. Spoiler, Spoiler alert. Alert. Like, One of his family members passes away. Jesus. And he's quite sad about it, as you would expect. But then you know his wife's going like, "Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with him. He seems a bit down." You're like, "Yeah." Ah, oh, the cousin just got shot. The cousin, the cousin got stabbed up. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I like? He, he uh, once again, it's that thing of like, it doesn't matter how much money you have, 
if you've got kids, you still got to do some fucking old da shit, mm-hmm. you know. So he outside the garden, there's like fucking just this absolute blinged out defender. He's got a couple of Ferraris. He's got the fucking Lamborghini Jeep, and then he throws the kids in the Passat estate to take them to school. Love that. But I respect that because you know he's probably going like I don't want to you know I don't want to be obnoxious and pull up outside the fucking the school like oh, you get bored for that like you know if your dad drop you off to school in a fucking Lambo and all the kids will be like yeah he's like your name's already fucking you know Venezuela yeah it's tough it's I don't tough for the roll call I don't want to pull you up in the fucking you know like a Bentley and then you jump out and get bullied to death yeah but the good news is they pull them out of school when they're about twelve in the traveler community yeah. So, uh, no. wait, why? It's the way it is. 12 years of age? But it's all it's all very confusing watching that show because the daughter, Venezuela, yeah, you know, they keep saying, like, oh, she's 12, so she's come out of school now. But she looks 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're like, it's very confusing. And the ma's like, you better figure out what you want to do with your life. And she's like, I want to fuck all. Yeah, I just don't be like, I'm blushing. Yeah, but that's multi millionaire. Let me fucking let me get some Haley's on. Ah, but you find though they kind of have to do that. Like that's why, um, like with Will Smith and stuff, putting his son in Dunkin' Donuts and shit like that. You don't want them to grow up like complete. C- like they have to understand, and learn some way. Well, don't make them famous then too. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's tough though. It's tough. It's tough. It's t- yeah. Yeah. Spotlights on you. Spotlights on the whole farm. I like the show though. It is good. It is a bit worrying though when he's like, you know, he quits boxing and then he is a bit uncomfortable for a minute and then he goes, listen, I've, I've taken a bit of time off. I've had to think about it. And the only the only solution I have is I do this till the day I die. Yeah. You know? But he's a physical anomaly. He's an absolute unit of a man. Like He's enormous. Ignorant bastard too. Watching him walk around the house. Yeah. Caveman. Yeah. Knuckle dragon. Yeah. I love it. He's just an aw- He's difficult to deal with. Yeah. There's a there's a load of things coming he's in. He's a grumpy weaker. Nice sometimes in the show, thing, you know. He's a heavyweight champion. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I, like you keep you keep judging these people. Like, oh, he's a bit weird. No, he's allowed to be. Yeah. He's not a normal guy. Nah. You're like, oh, he has mood swings. Yeah. He does the most exciting thing on earth. Yeah. F- like, knock people out for millions of pounds. Yeah, that's a way. Let we, him go off on one we, for a minute. We talk about doing a gig and then coming home and trying to switch off. Imagine fucking knocking some out, having a full arena, scream at you. You're roaring and shouting too. Aye. And then you get home and just. And getting 100 million for it, not yeah. 300 pounds yeah. in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon, guys. <laughs> I could be a fury. You think so? Like you if need I, if I, if I could see you actually as a fury. If, yeah. I, if I was in like the same tracksuit and I'm standing behind him with the old flat cap on, yeah. I'd be like, oh, that's his brother. Yeah. Just to be shorter, like, but yeah, they've got that same uh genie body. Oh, I uh, call Fury, <laughs> call <Cauli> Fury, exactly. <laughs> it's a brilliant show, though. I Cauli really like it. <laughs> call <Cauli> Fury, <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of the podcast. There, me just going up doing, doing bits before he comes in the ring. <laughs> going into the ring now, big moldy bastard. What is his walkout song? Does he have one? He keeps oh, it. Uh, nah, I don't know. I don't. I'm not too sure. But he always sings after the fights, you know, which is embarrassing. But you know what I mean. It's his thing. Yeah, let the man sing a tune. He is fucking like he's out there running, and he's just he's got like such a big lump of an upper body, and then two very thin arms. Yeah, and then two spindly legs. Yeah, where his ankles look like they're gonna go out at any point. Yeah. But, however, that's what makes him, you know, light in his feet. Oh, I. You know, which means gain to own. <laughs> light in the loafers. <laughs> Boy, there's bad light in his feet. Is that a saying? Mm-hmm. Jesus. Well, according to like my uncle and stuff, yeah. yeah. Boy's about light in his feet. Gay Tony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit of sugar in the tank. <clears throat> sugar in the tank. What else is it? What other gay slurs are they? I can't think. That one's kind of soft. You know, it's subtle. It doesn't feel like, you know, just like aggressive, vicious homophobia, but yeah. there's definitely underlying tones for sure. Well, yeah, it's probably probably from a time where you, you're like, you can't even say just gay. Yeah. He's gay. You'd be like, what? Keep your, keep your fucking voice down. Yeah. He's lighting the loafers. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. It was what, me and my mom were having this discussion the other day, right? And you know the way like therapy and stuff is <laughs> normalized now? We were doing the round table and... Uh, Ray, what are you gain us talk about? Do you think everyone back then's head was just fucked they just couldn't talk about it? Or do you think because it wasn't being vocalized as much, people just didn't really know? 
and just got on what i'd say a lot of people just didn't know what was going on yeah you so know? like the feeling of anxiety or depression they were exp- experiencing it but that's that's very you know irish guilt type things that yeah that's where all those terms come from you know you'd be like oh you know sure his auntie took a wee turn aye and you're like woman has full-blown paranoid schizophrenia yeah. you know what i mean we turns great she took a wee turn yeah she's locked in a fucking shed out the back tuck bad is great too he's tuck bad <laughs> <man. laughs> oh he's tuck bad yeah well i've had that happen before where someone someone didn't tell me exactly what was wrong with someone mm-hmm. and played it off very like ah not doing well dead next day and Jesus i was like Christ. i was like hey you know yeah give me a bit more info i know it's hard to talk about but don't say like someone's not doing too well and then i just brush it off like oh jesus that's wild and then you're awake next week <laughs> it's like fucking give me the fucking info jesus christ <laughs> I, my mom, she- oh, I was tucked bad under the weather oh i how do, what do you mean brain shimmer yeah <laughs> I have a few days in the bed now. <laughs> He'll be on his side, not the way you think now. <laughs> on his actual side. I took the leg off. Took the leg off, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> At Home of the Furies, what episode have you watched up to? Literally just two. Just two. We watched it the day I came back. But it's, yeah, it's a, it's fun. Like, because I remember seeing it and I was like, no way. And then I was like, she'd be all over this shit. I knew right, she'd love this shit. My man, I'd love this shit. I stuck it on Isaac, you love that shit there. Do you know what was terrible tor- shit? What was torture when I was on the plane last week? The guy in front of me was what had saved it on the Netflix mm-hmm. and he's watching it on the iPad. So I had the, you know, like, you know, I'm like, I'm taking wa- those, eh? I'm like, I want to watch it, but like, you know, I don't want to spoil it for myself, but I'm literally like, yeah. Oh, Jesus. You ever see those couples and uh, they're on a plane or something and they have the. They have the port going into the iPad so that you get two sets of headphones and uh-huh. they watch together. It's cute. That's that's nice, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, because, you know, if you're watching different things, I would be a nightmare. I'd be, like, pausing it and being like, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Put that in. <laughs> Put that in. What do you like to do on a plane? Masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> you take a wank on a plane, have you? No. What, 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 what do I like to do on a plane? Uh, uh, just fucking... I don't know. Just as uh, I just want a bit of space in front of my knees. Yeah, I don't need full leg room. But see, when my knees touching a seat, drives me nuts. I was telling you like I never really thought about first class until that last flight coming back, and I would seen a guy just literally horizontal, like full like bed procedure. Mm. And it wasn't like a bed, but it was like you could stretch the seat far enough back that he could just put his feet in this wee thing then and nice. work away. Nice. Cop was like seventy too, so it's probably needed. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you price it? No, no. Although no. I thought I might have got a free upgrade because remember I was telling you they'd oversold the flight, which is mad that that's a thing that happens. They're like, oh, yeah, we, we've oversold this. And you're like, you know. Did you see anyone getting upgraded though? No. I didn't see anyone get upgraded, but they. But I don't know if I was like in the last few people that wouldn't have got upgraded, but I got a seat, but it was like down at the very back in the middle. But then it was like, I, I, which I hate that's the worst fate on the plane is to get the middle especially if you're like me and you have a loose out bladder in you and you like to take admin pushes you know you don't need to go but you kill a bit of time yeah in between episodes of fucking what was I even watching that time oh I watched the Dwayne The Rock Johnson's new drama series oh yeah what's that called it's about him going to be president and he has a fella interviewing him for the 2032 run and uh, he relays his whole story growing up as a wrestler. I got about eight episodes deep, took four pushes. So it's based, it's it's drama, but it's based actually on The Rock? Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Called Lush. Young Rock. Ah, oh, come on. It's feel good, you know. It's for the whole, it's fun for the whole family. Is that propaganda? Of the, like, he could be president, no doubt. I think so, yeah. I mean, if you're talking celebrities that could be president, he's definitely in the packing order, like. Yeah. Putin's like, we will launch a drone strike on America very soon. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> you know? <laughs> He's a very wholesome wild character. Who else do you think could be president if they decided to run? Joe like Rogan. A celebrity? Rogan. To be fair, Rogan would be pretty good in the debates. I think they should have him. What do you call it whenever it's the person that's in between the two? The adjudicator. Like, right, you speak oh, now. Yeah. The adjudicator? Yeah. He'd be good at that. The ref? Yeah. He'd be a good referee. Here we go. Popeye back in the building. <laughs> Popeye back in the building. Tangy. Thank God there's no actual jalapeno taste to that. No, it's mainly lime. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm a wee bit sick, man. I'm still a wee bit yeah. sick. I don't know what's going on. I feel a wee bit weird. Breathe in everybody's dirt in that plane. That's disgusting. I'm still getting it, you know. <clears throat> I know you nearly just stick the COVID mask back on you if you're on a plane. Listen, I 
uh, Maureen sent me a thing of a girl saying she was getting sick about wearing a mask and she was like, I'm not wearing it for COVID, I'm wearing it for all sicknesses. Yeah. Because every time I get off a flight, I'm sick. Yeah. Because of you fucking dirty, dirty bastards. You fucking dirty bastards. <laughs> it is right enough because it's so compact and everyone's fucking breathing and husking. And, this know. motherfucker beside me in the plane, you know, not, not going about it uh, too much, took a sandwich and took it out of the thing and set it right on the fold down table, naked. With nothing under it and then picked it up and ate it as in bread against table bread on plastic that's rotten he just set it right down there but see you know he's probably got a good immune system on him maybe he did he had about six kids too so you know they've got your hand their hands in your mouth and all that shit he definitely doesn't wash his hands bullshit he also <clears throat> he also very vigorously was lying you know he was lying like this relaxing on a giant man too, on the thing like this and then he went and he got up and he walked down the back of the plane this is when the lights were dimmed and then he got the stuff and he walked back and he just, he had a packet of giant buttons mm -hmm. and he opened them and necked them like a packet of crisps. No he way. just went like, oh, oh, that's oh, the man in his holiday. And just put the rest of the buttons in his mouth and folded it up and threw it away. And holiday mode activated. I, I just, I'd love to know his, what was going on in his mind when he was just lying back there going, oh, Jesus, flight's in my head. <laughs> I, you know, I have a full pack of buttons, I'll do you know. And I had to go down and buy them and just fucking shook them in his mouth. There's one that gets steaming before flights. I've never actually done that. I have got steaming on a flight. That time we went to Glasgow, yeah. with fucking chinning a couple of brew dogs. But yeah. I've never been like, I need to get fucked before this flight. Uh, no, it's gross. No, there's nothing more scummy than like going into Belfast International and having like four blue wickets at seven in the morning. <laughs> but some people have to do it because they have like a legit fear of flying. So they're like, I'll just get pissed and then fall asleep. <laughs> on eight breezers. Yeah. But you do you just, you know, you see that you just, you know, the type. Smicks. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're four drinks in. They're like, there's my flight to fucking Santa Barbara. It's five o'clock somewhere. That's I the do, Instagram I, I hate traveling, you know, like planes and shit. So I, the, it would make it worse being drunk, I think. Yeah. I think it'd be worse if you're like needing a pish all the time. Got that half lazy pished feeling. And then just having to fucking sit there all day. I know. Whenever I was going from like LA to Hawaii... Uh, when Eva left me off at the airport, she was like, do you want an edible for the plane? And I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> fucking not. And she was like, no, but like... You're like, like, what, an edible sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, yeah, you know, she's like, I take the ball time, you know, I pop one, and then it leaves me all relaxed, and I drift off, and I was like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be drifting. I'd be fucking doing circles around myself, fucking bring the planes trying to kill me. You getting fucking upgraded the first class? <laughs> Just screaming <laughs> Mentally upgrade to schizophrenia I'd be fucked <laughs> <laughs> No way I genuinely do think I have one of those Like delicate brains Where if I took too many edibles I, I would be You know like In the street Tinfoil hat You know Man I gotta tell you Some secrets man You know like That sounds like a thrown one there Your man there Your man down the road there Do we delicate brain on He's what <laughs> Delicate brain <laughs> <laughs> He's one of them wee porridge brains <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's uh, Yeah he's well, Susceptible to the THC now I, I'm envious Like I wish I was one of them people That every time I took it I had a good time Or at least a relaxing time But I've had too many Ones where I've just Fucking freaked the biscuit I can't go near it No it's not good I've realised If I'm drunk I'm grand You know the people say Like like Connor Keyes always say Like if you're drunk And then you smoke weed That's a nightmare Because that's how you white eh? Yeah That's when I have my best time in it Yeah because the booze Has done most of the work Yeah well, sure, it's like the, the infamous time in, in Amsterdam when I nearly killed myself. Yeah. You boys were drinking, I wasn't. That was rough to see, no? And I think I think it saved you. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I just went in there, like, almost like I'd fasted, and then way too much caffeine, yeah. and then way too much weed, and I was just, ah, like, get me home. Yeah, because you're a man, you'd rarely see, like, lose control, you know? Uh, so to oh, see yeah. you in that McDonald's, I was like... What did, I, what, what, did I, what did I look like in a McDonald's? <laughs> you just didn't blink for 40 minutes. Yeah, I was fucking <laughs> out of it. Like, I was like, oh, he's going down the timeline there. Do you know what was crazy? It, was, it wasn't It was even like, uh, you know, if you're too drunk, you're like, man, I'm too drunk. It was literally like the Matrix. Yeah. I was like, I can't even, Yeah, you know, your mind, you had no memory of anything that was happening. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. You, and then you had, the, you were like shaking yourself. Like, Is this real? Is this real? I don't know. Yeah. Too much. Probably looking over at me and Mickey fucking scoffing down. Like people talking about Whitey, and I wish I had it just went, and it would have shocked me out of it, probably. Yeah. But instead, I was just going, in and out of different dimensions. Well, what's the shit that it's like you can't even move? And the only way. The only Obesity? Thing, the only, <laughs> only thing you can move is your wee finger. Coma? I that, don't know. that happened one night at Dilly's 
to someone who probably wouldn't name because they probably wouldn't want it out there but yeah they fucking smoked so much weed and they were steaming and like Keezy knew exactly what to do he's like can you move your wee finger and then he's like eyes grand <laughs> which is like that's some black belt stoner shit there <laughs> you know if that had happened like you and me I'd be like calm no response I'd be like oh he's fucked you just wagging the wee finger yeah because I'll be honest with you, sober, the wee finger's not great for me to move. No, the tendon's is. a bit tight. Yeah. <laughs> so if you'd have, if you'd have went Kong and you move your wee finger, I'd have just been like, where are we? <laughs> what even is a pinky? Who decided we need five fingers? Get me home. <laughs> oh fuck. Nah, it's shit. That was scary, like. Yeah, I Because it wasn't it wasn't even like, you know, boys, I've had a few too many, I better go home. It was me going like, I don't even know where to start to get myself home. But then you couldn't even sleep whenever we went back, could you? No, I was so paranoid. Yeah. You boys fell asleep immediately. Like, oh, yeah. Snoring and yeah. shit. And I was too scared to stand up and go to the toilet in case I tripped and fell and smashed through the door and fell out the balcony. <laughs> That's how paranoid I was. I was like, I don't even like trust... Like you're just moving. I was like, I'm too fucking uh, Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like too paranoid to walk three steps to the toilet because yeah. the window was over there. Oh, but that is scary. See, like, you know, even fucking the hallway in our own home house, I've been there stoned before and I've been like, I can't make it down there. There's no Have way. Have you got all that patterned wallpaper and shit? Oh, yeah. I'd be like walking through a screen scene. I know our gaff. Like, <laughs> our gaff home's like a fucking Airbnb in the Joshua Tree. It's like <laughs> oh, <laughs> wavy and shade for no reason. I those got lava lamps and all. Yeah. Yeah, it's the ideal place to take acid. I mean, now this is this is Mickey. There's a there's a fella I know, and uh, in his like attic in his garage, he has uh, what he's what he's called the freak out room, oh, which right. is basically where him and all his boys do cat and play Xbox. But it's like you know them wee stars you got whenever you were a child, the wee giant ones. He sticks them all up there, and, and they all just sit there like, holy fuck, boys. <laughs> 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 Any of you see that pirate ship? <laughs> <laughs> that was a real thing that happened to after yeah. after my gig at Mandela Hall. Oh. Like brought up this was like my second ever hour, and I I brought up like a pile of boys from back home. I was like, right, we'll, we'll rent an Apple apartment. We'll have a good time there. Real of course, bad there was man. like fucking ten lads in this apartment. All of them doing cat. Nice. Everyone's cat at night, and I went for a pish, and uh, opened the door. And there was like literally seven lads in this <laughs> small bathroom. And it was like three in the tub, fucking four in the floor. And they were listening to the Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack. <laughs> and I was like, boys, this is not a good time. Like, this is not, this is not a party drug. Like, yeah, it's not like the swing in 60s. You yeah. know, we're all experimenting with drugs. It's like, one lads, get in the bath with me. Yeah. Get in the bath with me. I wish they didn't do that propaganda, though, because I would love to do mushrooms in my law. But she's never going to do it. You do what everyone else does. Spiker? Ah. <laughs> but then she's such a picky eater too. You'd be like, maybe oh, an yeah. omelette. She'd be like, get that fucking Chinese <laughs> shit out of my face. Get that foreign muck out of my face. I eat raw flour <laughs> and muck. <laughs> it's hard to spike a parsnip, you know. <laughs> it's hard to spike a soda. It's hard to spike a buttered soda. <laughs> I just have to tander over to the Spud Cauldron <laughs> some Sunday and just tuck it in to the mash. That'd be a fun way to consume them, though. Ma oh, yeah. Yeah. Just a whole fat of <laughs> 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 Yeah, but the only drug you're like deep in an addiction and you're yeah. fat as shit. <laughs> <laughs> just you in the street in a wee fucking uh, mobility wheelchair. Oh, my shrimps and champ. What's your drug of choice, man? <laughs> Mushroom champ. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck but I'd love to know like they're spicy after a while oh, the right. jalapeno kicks in after a while I can feel her now coming on she's kicked in the second gear there Blah. I don't know if that's faster or slower but um, <laughs> what do you call that <laughs> um, I'd love to see I'd love to do mushrooms with you as well we will someday oh we will yeah I'd like to do mushrooms I think I need them it's either going to break my mind or else uh, I'll, I don't think it will make me a better person I don't think it will you just have to be in the right company Vibe's good, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Because if you're not... Not, that a, not a McDonald's in uh, no, no, Amsterdam? No, no, no. No, no, no. See, that's the thing. People eat them fucking space cakes and all, then they go to like Sports Direct or something. You don't... You, you can't... You know what I mean? <laughs> that sounds like a good time. No, to it's... Me, like, I would go to Sports Direct. It can't be in public because I did that once in Canada and I, I told it before, but I freaked the fuck out. Hated it. Yeah, like the Joshua Tree thing. Gorgeous. Sounds amazing. Yeah. You I know. totally understand why I cooked the Arctic Monkeys. 
Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe just Ireland isn't a great drugs country. No, it, it it's it's actually ideal. Like if you went to like you know somewhere like I don't know, just any fucking of the national parks, whatever, you'd have a great time. Oma National Park. Oh, I, the Glens. The Glens the is a perfect what about place the, to do The Folk Park. No, me and, you, me and you load up on mushrooms, go to the Folk Park. No, watch the all make, time. make glue out of horse feet. <laughs> I said that to my sister the other day because she's doing this fucking diet where she's literally not eating. She's like eating milkshakes. It's one of them like extreme ones where she's like got a wad and then she's like, have a week to lose three stone. <laughs> so she's just like fucking essentially just drinking yop all day. Nice. So um, I saw her the other day and I was like, Jesus, God, you're skinny like, but you look like one of them fucking actors from the folk park. <laughs> have you been? Have you took Eddie? I've been without Eddie, yeah. Yeah. And it was, we were in this thing and they, uh, they were making, um, I don't know what the guy was making, but he was burning horse hair. Mm-hmm. And everyone was kind of standing around going, this is interesting. And then the smell of burning hair. What that, Rika? Death, like. Yeah. It's, it's burning hair is disgusting. And nobody was cracking yet. Like I was looking around and people go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> uh, And it was, you know, you sat through the wee... Uh, you know, the wee demonstration, then as I walked there, I was like, fuck that hell, that stinks. And everybody was like, I know you like <laughs> I'm poking my mouth in there. <laughs> Did anybody break character, any of the actors? Not really. Like, it wasn't much acting going on. The I guy, always the guy was just so funny. The guy, it was just, the act, you know, the the commitment to the part is basically the outfit. Yeah. So, you know, it'll be some smick going, I'm making fucking, I'm making glue out of these horse feet. Yeah. Step in, step back in time, lads. Come on in. I always find that so funny of like, you know, you had to see one of them and you just, you're looking at the guy being earnest and like trying to do this whole thing. And like, I don't know, you hear his fucking iPhone go off or something. You know, it's like, there's a very funny, there was a show on BBC and there was like, yeah, like one of these back in time type things. And there was a woman who was one of these reenactors and she would do everything old school and like make butter. And uh, one of the clips is her just making butter, but they've cut it sort of like out of context because she's basically just going... Up and down in this stick, but... and she goes, "Oh yeah, Whew, I'm gonna have to switch hands." And then she goes, "And you'll notice at a certain point, and there's a." And she goes, "Ooh, it's got wetter." And, and, and but they've just they have, they have it like out of context. She got that wab, but just pumping wet ass butter. It's just pumping away at it, like. But they they did that in the fucking. I know there's the Oma one, then there's another one like a folk park in like Coltrane or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then we sat there watching this silly bitch like fucking you know wanking off the milk and then getting the butter on the thing wanking off the s- milk slapping it with a wee fucking hand the wee wooden things uh-huh. and then salting it and then putting on a cracker and give it to me and i was like <laughs> i was like mm, nice i was like you know you can buy this yeah <laughs> you can buy this in the, sh- the shop's not that far like <laughs> i mean, they didn't have center in them days <laughs> you know but it is today it is these days <laughs> yeah She's just in a smelly house, you know, slapping the cheeks off this butter. That's a wild job to be just sat, parked up, clapping butter all day. Like, <laughs> just clapping them for the nine groups of. I know. A load of fucking Japanese people. Like, oh, you know. Yeah, getting selfies beside the butter and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love. Um, you do you do it yourself, you know, when you like land in Austin or something and you go, oh man, this place looks really different. And you've got your phone out and you're like, oh, look at this phone box or look at this yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. And you're so, and I seen it happen in Dublin the other day where like I was stuck in traffic and someone pulled up outside just this building that, where a hotel was. And she got out and she, you know, this American, you could tell her American because we're like dressed like nerds, but then they were like 70, but then mm. the shoes were like, you know I mean, like full Air Max. Americans always look so well in, in dog shed clothes. Yeah. You ever notice that? But this bitch got out and she was just like, oh my God, electric box. You know, like, <laughs> oh wow, you got pavements here too? You know they're getting off the plane expecting like horse and cart, like, you know, like it's like Piggy Blinders or something. <laughs> we did. Remember we saw the horse and cart in action the other day? Oh yeah. And the fucking, the guys were going to the rugby match and they were just like completely fucking oh. out of it. And the guy was on top just calling everyone a cunt. And they were, the of course, and, and they were, of course, they were from up here. Like, yeah. They were like, go on, Jimmy, fuck it. And the guy, the guy literally did like a fucking Nazi salute <laughs> off the top of it. And I was like, bro, it's a bit risky. A bit risky. I know you've had a couple of shandies. Man. Send her on the fuck. Send her on, <laughs> fuck, Nick. What's the top speed in this? But then it's so funny because like, you know, if you're going for that kind of horse and cart experience, you know, I guess the way you would sort of 
prop it up would be you'd have the gentleman in the cart dressed a wee bit, you know, antique or whatever for the show of it. This guy was wearing a full Puma tracksuit. Driving it? Just like mushing the horse. Oh, yeah. It's mental. Yeah. And then he reaches over with a card reader at the end. I know. <laughs> you know, you, you expect to pull up and pay him in like fucking gold coins and a purse. How many rupees is that? How <laughs> many shillings is that? And he's like, ah, take fucking PayPal. Or not. <laughs> Just dang it. You need crypto hanging about? It's like fucking... Uh, Have to fill the horse up with something. <laughs> On the air notes. Have you ever had anything like that? Have you ever took a wee horse and cart or a wee rickshaw? Or? No, I wouldn't do it to the animal. Nah. Or the man driving. I'd be the only guy that would make a horse do a wheel spin. <laughs> you know, you see a dog like on tiles. <laughs> like the Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Mickey got a rickshaw one time in Edinburgh. And that man earned his money. Oh, I bet. <laughs> up a hell too. In, in, you know what in, I mean? in the worst fucking town on earth. The gradient was pretty high. We were just after a few pints. Like, you know. Cobbled. We were expanding mid journey. Yeah. The two of us. Two fat raspberry hooters just <laughs> in the back of this fucking rickshaw. This guy better be fucking Lance Armstrong on that bike. <laughs> With the roids. With the roids. <laughs> if you two got in, I'd be like, oh, oh. Yeah. Bike's broke. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I just realized, you know. Well, that was when you do have to assess, like, it's like, you know, uh, I've never seen it, but I've seen videos before of like, People getting refused admission into a roller coaster because they're like, we can't put this bar down. Yeah. You know? That'd be me. No, you, you're you not that level. I know, but I've always, you know, when the, the thing comes down over your head and clicks in, is there's never been enough room. Well, that would probably be where I get a handling. You'd be like, going over the head. Aye. The tits is my handling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, but you see, imagine well, you just sort of things, <laughs> just your head on it. But you get the ones where it's like like the tits there is a certain level of fat where it's like your tits are now like bean bags like like you have two storage units above your belly. It's mental. You know, like I'm fucking I'm getting pretty hefty right now and I'm looking at myself and I'm being like, You're a fat bastard, it's time to cut this out. If I was literally expanding to that level, I'd be like, Well, you're just gonna have to I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do here. Yeah. Roller coasters off the list immediately. Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> Rickshaws, no thanks. That's what I was amazed watching that Fury show. You know, like he was getting into like a Ferrari and I was like, I couldn't even get in a Ferrari. Yeah. How's he fitting the fuck? Who's he fitting that? Fucking whatever Tim's two door is. That's a nightmare for me. The X, what are, or Z1 or something? What is it? I don't know anything about cars. But see me getting out of that. Is it a coincidence he only picks you up in the convertible? Yeah, I know. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, but. Friendly fire. That head. <laughs> I've picked my car up a few times in the golf and his head's bulging out the roof, so <laughs> it's it's gonna have to be the fucking the convertible from now on. Oh fuck, so that is spicy. I saw we we were in Tenerife and uh you know it was hot obviously and you're in the car, aircon blasting, mm. nice and cold in the car, and then in front of us was like a mini convertible, and I was like, I feel like you would die at the wheel. Yeah. You know, because you're like, yes, the wind is hitting you. But the sun's still hitting you, but you're not really feeling it. I think you just pull up and be like, oh, I have fucking double kidney failure. I've sweated it. Did it look good? Mini convertible? All right. Yeah. Nice enough. It's all right. What do you call it? Here's another car question I'm going to ask you. Is it a Camry? 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's a convertible, right? I mean, there's... If it's a, conver if it's a convertible version of anything. Uh-huh. Like, like a Camry? Like a fucking... Like that standard, it's like the fucking Amer American Passat. Yeah, it was like a big old red yoke, and it was convertible. And uh, that video I put up of me in it at the very front with the with the top down, enjoying the <laughs> California sun, by which I mean I was getting fucking toasted. A Camry, like a Toyota Camry, like just a fucking American. Uh, well, that one looks pretty swag. Yeah, one. it looks nice. TRD, Tard. Uh, but this has been rented out. Aye. Uh, just like that, but like convertible. Yeah. But oh. like in the States, it's like, you know, it's very cheap to like get a very nice car to rent. Like mm -hmm. it's like, oh, if you upgrade $30, we'll give you a fucking, like I remember fucking seeing someone driving about in a Mustang. That's the one with the horse with <laughs> the logo, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's either that or a Ferrari. Yeah. No, I don't think it was a Ferrari. <coughs> you alright lad? That ice pop at you do hard? That prime is, went straight into my lung pipe it, You feel a wee zing of it don't you? 
I don't know. It's hard to know. Anyway, we've talked in mad amount of shit here. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> we got to play that finger in video. When you <laughs> we laughed at you last week, choking and dying. That's no, me. I got YouTube. Oh, good. Let's take her into second gear, which is in fact faster. No, I, <laughs> I haven't seen this shit. On the flat. I can guess what's gonna happen here. Oh. Is he like? Is she fingering her bum? His bum hole. Yep. She's fingering his ass. I know. Yeah, is that what she's doing? Yeah, oh, she is. Right. That's a bit far. That's a bit far. That is fucking disgusting. Oh! oh she's just snooped it. Oh, he's eating it. No fucking way. No fucking way. Oh, no fucking way. No fucking way. Way, he's a fucking the oh no fucking way. I was actually the bull and that's a meat cute right there. <laughs> that's a fucking Disney movie. <sighs> you know any sexual acts in public? I think uh, this is Doubtfire talking over that video. <laughs> <laughs> no, hello, dear. Oh, he's fingering at his mum. <laughs> <coughs> any sexual acts in public is is mad, like but. To need a finger in your ass. Yeah, but these two are stumbling all over the place. And, yeah. You know, they're, they reek of, uh, you know, I don't know, heroin or something. What the fuck are they doing? Yeah. Is that a side effect of heroin? <laughs> finger? You just need the button jammed? I don't know. But, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. What, what could they even be talking about? Yeah, what know? was the conversation yeah. that led to that? You know. You're not committed to the relationship. I can approve it to you. There's only one way. Finger my ass. <laughs> I'll do anything for you. Oi. Turn around. Oh, is it in? It is in. I told you I loved you. I believe you now. I, I feel a bit left out. Say no more. Take a wee taste. Take a wee taste. Give us a hug. Thank you. You hungry? <laughs> like, where do you go after that? Now, I watched that and I'm like, the most disgusting part of that was the finger in the mouth. You know? Yeah. A finger in the ass, whatever you're into, a finger in the mouth should never never be on the cards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rotten. I, I, you know, uh, you know, like, yeah, without putting your finger <coughs> in your ass. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Like, you wouldn't suck my finger right now? Gross. Nah, terrible. No? Have you ever utilized that? <sighs> well, that special move? Finger, finger in the, the mouth? mouth? Finger in the ass? In the finger mouth? In the mouth? <laughs> yeah. In the mouth for Christmas? Yeah, finger in the mouth. <laughs> well, like when I'm getting sexy. Ah, you know, when you're the, the horn is at an all-time high and you're in the moment and, you know, your jaws is nothing but, <coughs> you know, and you get you're the like, excitement of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Aah." laughs> no, I don't, I don't think it's that sexy. No, nah, it's not sexy. I feel like that's the kind of moment that would almost sober you up from the sexual experience. Yeah. Wait, did you just stick my fin your fingers in my mouth, you dirty hair? Unless you're one of them absolute filth buckets who just, you know, you're like, I get so turned on when I'm just gagging on something. Mm. You know, and you'd be like, right, well, you can, all right. <laughs> gagging my fingers while I'm banging you. Right. We'll switch it up in a minute. Not the finger. It ain't but that. Take a fucking dodo or something. I mean, I mean, once, you know, once, if you find someone who's really into that, it'd be mm. handy enough, you know. Oh, a finger fetish? Yeah, no, it's just like, oh, you know, you're sitting watching a movie, it's like, oh, God, it's so horny. You're like, all right. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, fuck. You'd have to keep the nails well trimmed, then, anyway. Are you right? Yeah, Why? Well, right? I have no nails. You, it's you, just disgusting. You're a wee nervous boy. You ate them all off. Yeah. Oh, they're fucking gnawed down. <laughs> Nod. Do you just spend all day chewing the nails? I just, you know, I, you know, I, I, I like to. It's the sensation of it for me. It does it for me. You know, you get her to the side. She's about to come off. Then just give her one wee final rip. Do you ever do it too much though? When it's sore. Oh, I've had the blade before, like. That's nuts. Yeah, I've had them bleed before. What's but I think it's better than the toenails. Like, I would never enter that territory of biting the toenails. But I have. Do you have the flex for that? Well, no, I think. No, probably not. <coughs> I don't even have the flex to tie my shoes properly. <laughs> you know? It's like that bit I was saying about Bobby Kelly said. You're two sandwiches like, away from fucking uh, Velcro? Oh, I. No more picnics? <laughs> but like, you ever see? 
I was I was telling you about the Bobby Kelly bit where he's like the first way you spot a fat guy is if he's got his shoelaces tied to the side uh, which is so true because he's chucked his leg up the yeah I literally looked down at my shoes and they were tied like that oh yeah of course look at that <laughs> tied on the inside always on the side <laughs> You know, a subtle flex of the Yeezys. Oh, I, well, not, not a subtle flex when they got the fact dying strategy. <laughs> you know? But I, I've i never entered the toenail territory. I've had too many nightmares on my toes over the years. You know? They've been through the war. Yeah. You know? We watched that vlog on the Patreon last week. That was whenever I had to wear my wee stripey socks and the jujitsu mat because my toe was full of gunk. You oh, know? Bro. Rotten. I've had that surgery three times in my life. Have you any toe left? Do you have any nail left? No, well, on the left... You dick toe? On the left... On the left foot, the toenail is just like... You know, it's like they had to remove it, and then this wee thing has took its place. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a wee shell for it, protect it, you know? It's, the body's a magical thing, like, it just it puts up these wee protective shields on you. And then the right one is full toenail, <laughs> you know? You can buy wee fake toenails online. <laughs> I have... I have considered it... I have considered it. Oh, um, fuck me. I, I was actually considering it for this trip because I was like, we're going to be on the beach oh. a lot. I don't want anybody looking at my toenails. Here's a wee bit of self-deprecation for you. We were on oh. the beach, right? And like, you know, honey's to my left, honey's to my right. And all these like beautiful fucking like all the... Peter's friends, like I'm yeah. definitely the anomaly. Everyone's got the dick V's, everyone's yeah. got the six pack. They care about their body. Yeah. They, they take care of themselves. Yeah, they look after themselves, you know? Um, and then the girls are all fucking, you know, looking on real, whatever. And I'm just sitting there in the beach. Everyone's got their toes out. And I was that self-conscious about my dodgy toe that I just pulled the wee sand thing over the top of it. So I just, like, <laughs> I just like, literally buried it in the sand. So I was like, I don't want these fucking sexy hooers sitting here judging my fucking toes. <laughs> Resty is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> don't want them to see these toes. No, the left toe is bad. The left toe looks like my fucking man and our cousins. It's not good. Like, I just love the, you know, if you went into some like nail place and just got one acrylic nail put on where that toe should be and it's just like fucking silver and like we wipe it Yeah, you can customize it like Neg AD, you know? <laughs> put a wee stripey pattern on it. I think, I think I heard Chuck Liddell, the fighter, did that, you know? Got a wee fake toenail? No, because his feet were just a disaster from like kicking and you know grappling for ages that he just would start painting his nails black because they were always black anyway and falling off yeah but what you should do is there is there no nail on the left one no get a bell end tattooed on your toe <laughs> dick toe for the crack no nah? <coughs> i have seen i have seen one toe tattoo in my life where a fella got a wee tiny camel camel toe camel Great toe come on, man, come on it's a lot of money for you know what is a pretty hack joke you know and it'd be pain too. Yeah, tattoo in the toe would be fucking. Tattoo in the toe is a nightmare. Yeah. I'm going to get another tattoo. I don't know what yet though, but I want one. We're supposed to be doing a tattoo vlog where we go down to the, Dom's? The Dom's place and get a tattoo. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. What are you thinking again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I might just get a full back piece. I would love that. What should I get? Well, I go in there and there'll be rope pants. Just a like, bulldog. Like I'm in the Yakuza. <laughs> you know that fucking Japanese, like, rope pant nappy that they wear? Yeah. yeah. Like a sumo. Bro, I'd excel at sumo. Oh, why? Do you think I could just nip over to Japan? If you were born. <laughs> There's white sumos. No, take the Google for that. Oh, yeah. Hang on. White sumo wrestler. We, the li even the lifestyle would be fucking phenomenal for, oh, me, be for me and you. Because they can't eat enough. You know what I mean? They're like... They eat like fucking 20,000 calories a day. You know, after being in Hawaii, I'm convinced in a previous life, we were probably both Polynesian. Do you think we're Islanders? A couple of Islanders? I think so. Because the buckets of feeds them here as we put in the way is absolutely mental. They are thick boys. Like Notorious. They're thick boys. Look at this. Now nah, you see, there's something about being a white sumo wrestler. <laughs> spin, or, spin around a wee bit to get a look at him. Jesus Christ. That looks like a lot of girls would like work on a chippy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? In like a in a rural town. Yeah, white sumo wrestler or female butcher. What's his name? Janice. But see the way, like you know, like this just looks. The the part. That's what we should be wearing, like the beach. Go back to your fella with what a big the big fuck. Wait, categories this guy. In? This guy. What? No, where was the guy? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what you should have had on in Hawaii with a fucking the dick toe white. Yeah, this looks like something that's be hanging up in the Galgorm. 
Now, that guy, it's like something hanging in your hallway, though. Yeah, it actually is. That throne crystal. That's hanging off the side of your sofa, you know, like a wee decoration. White sumos. That should be a vlog, too. Oh, yeah. Me and you do sumo. There's bound to be, though, like one of them experiences or something you can just do in Japan where you go and you, you have a go at it, you know, uh, they let you take a wee turn. You get absolutely minced by some pro. There's a man there about to get pile drive. Look at that ass hanging out, Ty. Oh, that's a thong. Goes up the crevice. Nah. nah. Imagine how, how high yours would go up. Oh, it'd be up here. Oh, why? Uh, you'd be like, be like you, up the back. You'd be like a mankini, you know, like a Borat style. <laughs> I have a chair. <laughs> I love the way they haven't updated sumo as it, uh, you know, like the wee ring that they fight in. You oh, just, uh, yeah. You still just fall off on the like fucking concrete floor. Oh, why? Uh, just to buy the chickens out laying a bit. No, I bet. No, that guy's strong. You know, he's a fat bastard, but, you know, look at them traps. Oh, why? Uh, oh, uh, he'd, he'd put you through the headboard, that boy. <laughs> I know how these guys, like, they must do some fucking too. Like. Well, I just can't imagine his penis is even there. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do they not? Is that not a trick that sumos do? What? Type in, do sumos retract their testicles? <laughs> do sumos retract their <laughs> hey, Siri. testicles? Oh, well, it popped up there. So people, do sumo wrestlers have their testicles removed? <laughs> this is simply a matter man. of self-protection. Sumo wrestlers fight by throwing each other around and jumping on each other. And all they wear in the ring is a sort of elaborate diaper. Pulling the testes up behind the pubis gives them some measure of protection against the crashing blows of a 400 pound opponent. There you go. Now what does that mean now? How do you put your balls behind your pubis? I was about to say, I don't know, like, you'd have to have some drip in the bag to do that. Like, <laughs> I just, I, I think they're probably just so fat that they just mush it back into the fupa and then put the <laughs> pants on. <laughs> right, step three, Google su sumo, sumo, fupa. sumo pants <laughs> for sale. I'll get you a pair. We do it at the live podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. Guys, we don't know how to finish the show, so we're going to have a sumo <laughs> wrestling fight. Then you just stand up from behind the desk and you got the wee fucking. This can't be right, yeah. It's like something a fucking stag do stripper would wear. Much. 20, 20 pound 59. Dale. Are you can get in red too there. <laughs> white. And don't be getting me that now because we be covered in yate marks. <laughs> Look at these, look at these reviewing it. Oh, I love it. Um, let me see now. <laughs> Two stars. This turned out to be a piece of cloth, but eight feet long and five inches wide. It most certainly did not justify the price I paid for it. Do not recommend it all. Total waste of money. <laughs> this from Brighton. Did they, did, they just, <laughs> did they just send you out a scarf, basically? Is that my actual Amazon? Those products are fucking... Yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 crack on there buy a couple I love it it's like you know if you're buying this you might also be interested in a sure ass MB <laughs> <laughs> in case you want to start a sumo podcast yeah you're definitely on a do the podcast right now mid podcast I mean it's so hot in here some days I wish I was wearing a fucking uh, you know a sumo pair of knickers there's a wee sumo robe god damn these are pretty fly. I would wear one of these. What about the picture I sent you of fucking Pharrell in Paris? The man's just wearing a full gi. Oh, why? Cozy, though. Cozy as fuck. I don't... Jesus Christ. Is that raw dick? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like... It looks like a fucking, like, you know... Like, you know, like a real worn-out picture of the Loch Ness Monster? These are just boxers, like... Do you know that the Loch Ness... Sorry, Mo you, oh. can, you can't have oh. the model... Have a grope mid, mid <laughs> shoot like that's not right. That's too sexy. Do you know that the the, the famous picture of the Loch Ness monster they think was a whale's cock? <laughs> well, back to Google. <laughs> <laughs> Loch Ness monster whale cock. Deep in the research. <laughs> this is a big question. The Loch Ness monster could be a whale's penis. Claims professor. Thank you very much for listening, folks. We'll be back next week. Not there? Aye. So the wheel's on its back, just throwing the <laughs> throwing the rod up in the air. But then, but then, what you need to do is Google wheels wheels cocks. After that, let me see now. Uh, no, hang on. Now, see the way you knew that? Have you dived into this research? No, before? I'm trying to get you a pic I'm trying to get you a side by side. Wheels cock. Blue wheel penis. Let me see. We'll click on images. Oh, what sort here. of hog is a blue wheel got? Is that it there? There's a man there. Catch of the day. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> First fishing trip with Grandad? Is it the world's biggest <laughs> parsnip? I was about to say, that's a big old parsnip. That's how I stuff my mouth with mushrooms. Give <laughs> it out there and put it over a year period. Jesus. 
That's wild. There's a man there ponging up in the house. <laughs> you gotta put your coat somewhere. <laughs> he definitely puts Christmas decorations in that, you know, whenever it is the season. Tis it doing chill ups <laughs> off it. Is there like an actual live wheel with an with an erection? But can you see what I'm saying? Like how that could be yeah. either see there, bottom left. Ba boom, side by side. There we go. No, Jesus, fuck it's pink. You know why? See what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that could be it, Ty. Oh, here we go. There's a side by side. La. Yeah, it was a whale cock the whole time. Cock nest monster. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> Sorry, conspiracy theorists. It was just a whale hog. But you know what Scottish people are like after watching that clip? Eh? Oh, my goodness. I wonder what other conspiracy theories I could be like. Though. It must be a monster. <laughs> That's what killed JFK. <laughs> just a stray whale cock. See that one there now? There's one there. That is... Nature's, nature's mad, eh? We got a pace on it. Got too much, too much admin there now. Sorry, I was totally lost <laughs> in that whale cock. <laughs> I had that. to come back in the room for a second. Hypnotized by <laughs> fucking whale cock. Oh, God. What else have we got to chat about? Sir, I'm literally, I'm like, you know, whenever you come back from a holiday and you're like calibrating back into reality, I just have been fucked up all week. And my, I've been like, my body clock's not there yet, you know? So I'm just all over the fucking place right now. Get your, have yourself a child? No. You know, you can come back from holiday and have fucking no, no time. No. No recovery. No. Straight up. No. Fucking, you know, you get him the wrong spoon for his breakfast. He's like, ah! you know, that brings you back to reality. I might get the snub. Never mind, you know, resting for five days or whatever. Yeah. Come straight in, straight back straight at it. Straight into the chaos. No sleep. Straight cortisol levels through the roof. Yeah. That's what you want. How's he been since coming back? Nightmare. Oh, really? No, he's been fine. He's been fine. But I don't know what this new this new thing of him just staying up to fucking like 11 o'clock at night is. You know, you're like, bro, what are you? He wants to rage. You're 23. Go to fucking bed, man. I mean, I've seen all memes and stuff where babies are crying because they're tired, and you're like, no one's stopping you. Yeah. <laughs> no one's saying you know, it's the same day. <laughs> tired. Go to fucking sleep three hours ago. We dick. God, I'm a lunatic. I know that's mad. I, I know because that's, that's your first holiday with child. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And last. Yeah. Never fucking again. Oh, right. Oh, gee. Oh, don't. Oh, yeah. I oh, just thought oh. of something. I just thought of something. Stop. Right, I hope he's listening to this because, like, basically, right. So I got added into a group chat the other day, right, where it was like this guy, and then like I think like his ma and da, maybe brother, and then like three other friends, right. So the guy went on his profile. Oh my orgies, done that. There was like one of his most recent photos was. Uh, with myself after a gig, right? Mm -hmm. And what had happened was this girl had wrote in saying, Hey, just thought you would like to see something. <gasps> and it was like fucking Snapchat transcripts, right? Of like him talking to her, uh -huh. right? So what this fucker had, had done was she had added this fella engaged in dirty talk. You know, things got a bit hot and frisky. He might have sent a pick or two, I don't know. And then she went, If you don't pay me, x amount of cash right now on paypal i'm gonna show this to everyone you know oh. isn't that fucked up she should be in prison absolutely it's totally illegal mm -hmm. that's like that's like ransom type shit yeah i was like that's fucking and then i, I was gonna message the guy and be like hey like are y'all good but then i was like what am, what's that gonna do for him you know but that's, I just couldn't believe that. That like popped up just in my DMs. I was like, I thought it was like another like spam account, like group chat thing. And I was like, holy shit. This is why people are always like, we don't negotiate with terrorists. Yeah. Because if he pays once, he'd be paying forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? But see, yeah, you kind of just have to own it, don't you? Who did that? Did a comedian do that? Was it Whitney Cummings or something? Someone threatened to be like, oh, I'm going to post these photos of your tits. And she just posted her tits on the Twitter and was yeah. just like, suck my dick. You got to do it. Although what I would say is I would far rather have a picture of my cock come out than dirty talk. 
Oh, okay. I think that's I think it's way worse. Yeah. Even like cute messages. You don't know if you're in love and you well, send out cute messages. Now you could just post a picture of your toe at the right angle. Yeah. Be like, here's my pace. <laughs> or what's left of it? <laughs> Be like, did a dog chew up? <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, shout out to that guy. Hope he's all right. Unfortunately, the the way you have to do it is uh, just absolutely own it. Just be like, I'm gonna release this picture. You'd be like, I'm gonna flan fuck. Yeah. Show everyone. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. There's something way worse though, but just like texts. Yeah. You know. Like you know the a dick pic is like that's biology. You know that's yeah. the way God made you. Yeah. It's nature. That evil bastard. But you know, dirty talk texts. That's who you are. That's your own work. <laughs> that's your own work. You drive that up yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think, is that really a thing over here though? Do people like do dirty talk text? Mickey's into it. Is he? But then he's in everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? You boys ever send a little risky text to the woman you love? <laughs> we wank there from Nile. <laughs> says all I need to know. It's Guanciale's fucking. <laughs> It's not gonna. It's not gonna render itself. <laughs> Man said red and raw. <laughs> red and raw. <laughs> I would. I think it'd be so funny, right? Such an invasion of privacy, obviously. But if you just so show us your dick, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want two K Patreon subscribers or not? Get that piece out. Get the red rocket out. <laughs> Shows that rooster. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like tax, tax. You know, you know, if you're just, if you're with someone or whatever, and you know, everyone gets a bad game of it. You know, <laughs> you just that's just a part of the territory. Oh, now with a small red cock ring on, Carhartt condoms. We Prince Sal hanging off her. <laughs> Prince Al. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a carabiner with a car heart Prince lanyard Al. on it. <laughs> Prince Al Yankovic. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Do <laughs> <laughs> uh, <this is laughs> you know anybody with a car crack? <laughs> <laughs> like a living human being with a car crack <laughs> that you've had an interaction with. <laughs> this thing's gone to the dogs. Again, we stay in the we, the boys stay in the dog. We stay in the dirt. <laughs> only only uh, Terry Keys. <laughs> That's right. He's the only. Good. But you didn't. It was just like laying straight in his house, which is probably worse. Than aye, the but it, aye, but it was like you were around someone's house, and you went, you know, like the, the way he reacted to it was like I went, oh, I, just, I found this wallet on the floor. He'd be like, ah, oh, happy days, man. Thought I'd lost that. I woke up with a cock ring stuck in my back, and, he's, and he was like, ah, oh, fuck, there it is. <laughs> Straight through the bulb. <laughs> but, Fucking uh, hell. Yeah. I maybe get, I wouldn't get the Prince Albert down the middle of the pesser. I wouldn't have I'd maybe get that one where they grab, you know, a bit of skin on the on the head on the base end of your cock <laughs> and they put it through the top. Wait, what? Uh, have you seen that one? No. What's it called? Google various cock piercings. <laughs> you can get one through the bottom of the shaft. Various cock piercings. I love how Google recognizes cock to it goes, yeah, I know exactly what they're after. God. Yeah, Everything I mean, you should know before getting a penis piercing. Oh. Right now, that's a bit. No, that's Sp spin made around, me no, take a no. turn. No, I don't know if I spin can. Spin around now. Look at it. You're gonna have to. Fucking pussy. You're gonna have to fucking host the ship here. Host the ship. I mean, this boy second row in the middle. The guy's got fucking. That's the Mister T of Cox. He's just fucking absolutely blinged out. <laughs> Jesus Christ! This one looks like it's gonna give you fucking bookies advice. <laughs> like tips on virtual dogs or something good luck getting through the airport well, that that's too many now for the balls like that's you know that's overkill <sighs> that's mad there's some i mean i mean come on see the way he had click on the second row there guy the bejazzled this one yeah since we're getting off see the way he has one at the base of the dick yeah that's the one I'd get if I was getting any, any of them done. Yeah. Or else I would get one either side of my ball bag, like it looked like Pat Butcher. <laughs> <laughs> and they both just hanged out either side. Two earrings. <laughs> Do you have any piercings or have had any piercings? 
Well, obviously not, no. No. I ripped the oh, guy. Well, you could have a tit one, I don't know. I went to rugby training one time when it was at Uri McGee and we were doing like a tackling drill and this guy was like, you know, like standard rugby lads, what they look like. And then this guy was a bit, bit of a funky looking guy, like dyed hair and pink hair and, you know, tattoos mm. and shit. Funk. And uh, he, I ran into him or he ran into me or something, tackled and th- threw him down and he got up and he went, ah, 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 and he lifted his top and th- I'd pulled the nipple ring half out of him. And like, you know, like, I'm going to draw a picture. I've definitely talked about this in, on the pod before, but like, say that's the wee middle bit of your nip and that's the surrounding bit. Mm-hmm. And the piercing went through like that. It had, from about here to here, had ripped that way. So we had like half of the, half of the wee circle off. Oh. So and, the, and what the funniest bit of the whole thing was I never seen him ever again. And he didn't like go, oh, Jesus, that look all right. He, got, he went, ah, ah. And he ran in boots up the pitch, up onto the road and away. <laughs> that was the funniest bit. You can't come back to town again after that. No, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if he ever stopped. He just kept going to the gut of the sea. He looked. Ah, as, yeah, he, <laughs> <laughs> you know. I don't know where he went. No, you got to move down, change your name, everything about you. He might have just ran to the hospital, just straight in there. So my nipple back on. <laughs> it's funny to run to a hospital, just a fucking chunk of your areola hanging on Robbie Field. <laughs> you sprinting it. And me just standing there going, <laughs> "Are you okay? You all right?" That's your own fault. You're wearing nip rings there. You bring a nip ring to a rugby match? Yeah, clip it off. Put it on you after. Uh, put it in a wee, in a wee jewelry box. <laughs> <laughs> How much money would you have to be paid to get a, get your cock pierced? Nah, there's no, there is no coin. There is no coin. It doesn't exist. No, a cock, no, a cock piercing. I could, I literally couldn't do it. I would get tattoos everywhere, but a piercing. Uh, have you any piercings, Dave? Oh, with both ears, fucking full of shit. Uh, your dick pierced? No, he hasn't. The dick. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. I wanted to get that. You know, Dave. You know that person that was about where it was like the big, massive ones. He has them. You currently have them. Oh shit! Yeah. What are they called? Plugs. 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 Yeah, fucking hell. You see, you have a nice size there, where it you can't. You know, unless you're going talking about it and looking at it. They're quite unnoticeable. Yeah, I didn't really notice them. It's when them boys have, you know, like a fucking bangle yeah. in their ear. And then... They got the big Denny's fucking ears after. Do you know what's the maddest one? There was a load of boys trained at that 10th Planet place with Eddie Bravo. Mm-hmm. And they were all a bunch of like break dancers and had these big fucking things in their ears. But when they competed, they'd pop it out and they would just grab the loose loop <laughs> and bring it down and tape it shut. <laughs> so no one could put their finger through it. So the two of them, would, they would just take the spare skin and tape them. That's mental. I don't. I don't think I. I don't really suit piercings or even jewelry. No. I couldn't do a necklace. No. It'd be like when you see a fucking staffy with like a studded necklace. Yeah. <laughs> and I tried a friend's friend's chain on one time. It looked like a choker. It wasn't nice. Let's go chain shopping. It'd be embarrassing because you know you'd be like, "That's nice," and they go to put it on. They'd be like, "Well, that's a twenty-six inch chain," and you're like. <laughs> oh yeah, we get a rude wake up call if we went chain shopping. I think I think our necks would be so fat that we, if you ever took the chain off, you, you know you'd need a thing to carry it in. Yeah, you know it'd be like a dog lead, it's like, <laughs> taking that fucking shit everywhere. <laughs> I would like to wear one, but you know I, I think yeah you'd look like a fucking. I wouldn't look good. Did enough. I talk last week about the guy on holiday dressed like a guy from Normal People? Did I talk about that? You said about the French guy. That was the French nerd. There was another English guy dressed like Connell from Connell. What's his name? From normal people. Yeah. The way that look has caught on now. Yeah. And the dude. Did I talk about this? About dementia. The guy had fucking. The guy had like a vintage Man City shirt on, like football top, proper O'Neill shorts, and then the knackered Reeboks and the and the socks and the fucking you know that little like shaggy haircut with a wee bit of a mullet, like a wee bit shaved here. And he was all like, fucking, all right, mate, can I get two, fuck it, you know? And I was like, bro, you did, fucking, he's English, take everything. Just taking everything. Taking everything. Non sacred. When these Irish boys finally get in the ride for looking like tramps, <laughs> yeah. they finally caught on, and now these English boys are just taking that too. Yeah. Unbelievable. I can't believe he was actually wearing O'Neill shorts, that's mad. Actual, just white shorts, set O'Neill's yeah. on him. Fat guy cock. Fat guy cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's a look. It's a look, yeah. That's a, th- never mind the fucking sumo shorts, man, you should get O'Neill's. Shorts. No. 
Just a couple, no. of, couple of sideways bodlies. No, we, we, whenever we recorded that video for the Northern Ireland team years ago, I got a free pair of white shorts, yeah. and they're strictly for the house. Yeah? yeah oh, yeah. To have seen? Oh, yeah. The boon and them things, out of control. Oh, yeah, I bet. Out of control. <laughs> bet, like a couch pillow? <laughs> out of control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks like just hotel fucking bad pillows. I did see, you know, it's very European to wear, like, speedos mm. you know like everyone on this fucking resort i was on was wearing just shorts and then this one german guy who you know if you if you had to have a character in a movie who was like owned like a gay brothel in berlin or something it'd be this guy we mustache fucking we fancy ray-bans hair all slick back he had a wife though but he was wearing speedo and the guy had like the biggest lump of cocks you know what i mean like it it, it genuinely looked like he just put like a fucking grapefruit down his pants yeah blue wheel territory it wasn't even it, it wasn't even like oh here's here's your big cock you're like what's in there yeah it was like fucking <laughs> you know what i mean it was it was just like fucking just this big fucking semi circuit maybe he had something down there to be like maybe you know like a wonder bra like i'm trying to just keep it all in one lump yeah, yeah instead of a fanny pack he's just you know yeah Putting his phone down there. This, yeah, he literally, it was like half an Easter egg. Maybe a snack. Just like fucking perfectly, just blurp like that there. I had, I had drinking it right in. You know, got the old perv shades on. I was like, what <laughs> the fuck is in your pants, man? Yeah. <laughs> just a perfectly spherical lump of cock and balls. It's my, yeah, it's mad to have. I, Meanwhile, I have like dick sideways, one bollock in the net pants <laughs> and one bollock out of the net pants in the swim shorts. Meanwhile, I've got my stomach and my trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of foop daddies. <laughs> foop dogs. I have an Easter egg ball too, but it's between the deck and the belly. Like this wee, this wee no man's land here. Complete Easter egg. That's the fooper. Yeah. <laughs> Couple of foop dogs. <laughs> Real bad man. Is that uh, actually the medical term for it? The no, it's not medical. <laughs> There's no doctor being like, I think you might have an infected fupa. <laughs> <laughs> I might have an infected fupa. But... <laughs> now, have we talked long enough? The boys have. Have you heard The boys have run amok. How long have we done that? I'm googling fupa real quick. <laughs> 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 The fatty upper public areas. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> pubic areas. <laughs> Apologies, not mistreat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fat upper pubic area, that's mad. Fat around the lower belly can uh. be difficult to lose, but specific exercises such as the plank can often make a difference. If not, some medical procedures may help. <laughs> oh. that's, a, that's a big jump. You know, if you're like, yeah, well, try a plank, and if not, you're gonna have to get it sawed off. It sounds like you know in the news when they're talking about sectarian violence. <laughs> you know, in the fan up our pubic area, there was attacks on PSNI tonight. <laughs> I didn't know. Did you know it was like an acronym? Yeah. Did you? <laughs> fuck sick. What's gunt then? <laughs> oh, fuck. What do you say? Gunt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see in this last part of the podcast now just gradually fade the black for like the last 20 minutes <laughs> oh my god we got what does gunt mean in slang oh, gunt slang is a fatty area below the belly button above the pubic area of a woman often as a result of childbirth weight gain or just having a totally normal body this is like uh you know his venture gunt is fupa fupa is gunt <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're gonna have to get out of here because we get on this <laughs> yeah. before I search history is fucked. This prime's melted our minds here. I know. Blue wheel cock and fupa. Oh Jesus fucking weapon. We cover it all. We cover it all. We cover it all <laughs> Listen guys, take care of your uh fat over pubic areas and you know, have a have a lovely week to yourselves. Get on to take a master there. Here we're there are fucking not a lot of tickets left for this live podcast. Get on it. Don't sleep. Yep. Get on it. Get on, get a ticket. We're going to go absolutely ham. Ham with the focus. A couple of fish dogs. Uh, anything else to chat about? Get on it. We're going to go over and record a Patreon episode yeah. right now as well. Slide so on get over. Get yourself on to patreon.com slash pod and uh, get the live podcast over there. Get all the extra podcasts over there. And uh, anything else to add before we get out of here? Nah, that's it. No, I'm going to drain the fupa here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you next week, guys. Good luck to you. Best of luck, man. All the best. Fuck me in
Ende. 